Well, what is a star? How does it work? Why is it important to us? These are, these are learning goals, but these are very fundamental things that you think about and you look up and you ask how many stars are there? And so sort of where do they come from? It really takes these big productions to then show the sequencing of the behavior of the universe. I'm gonna focus, I wanna see how a, a nebula expands and how stars form in that. This is sort of beyond the call currently of, of, uh, of interactive display. And so that's, that's why we make these productions um, that are really a, a, a cornerstone of, of what the new Hayden Planetarium, now approaching its 10th year of, of being open, can do. We talked about the galaxy and how it rotates and how the ecliptic plane of the solar system is, you know, about 60 degrees inclined to the galaxy and that there's the galaxy that it rolls or it rotates in this direction and so forth, is that we were having that discussion just to get our heads around it. The layout of the show as drawn in this case of uh, March uh, 21st, um, 2008, so this is over a year ago, it bears a strong resemblance to really the final product. So I would say that, um, and these, these are used by the produ our production staff, our technical directors, Doug Harsh, John Parker, to get an idea of where we're going. There's a Helix Nebula, which we eventually visited and so on. We'll be using um, a typical sort of scientist tool for visualizing um, called IDL, which um, um, usually our scientists and collaborators going through, say, something with IDL to get a general plotting of uh, what it is that we're looking at. We had a tool from the National Center for Atmospheric Research called Vapor, it's sort of a more robust uh, data visualization package. So now we can actually really kind of interactively visualize uh, as opposed to IDL might just spit out a certain image of what you want. These simulations are merely ways of understanding the behavioral process that we see across the universe. It's my job to, to understand both from our production guys what's possible and what the scientists want to depict. That uh, if something is way too abstract or that, you know, really have difficulty um, diagram, even diagramming that, then maybe that's something a little too abstract to deal with. We know we've done our job right when the scientists say, wow, that's, that's what we're talking about, that's what we see, and you've put it up there and you've put it up there to share with the world. I think all scientists want to do that. They want to be able to share the relevance of what they spend their lifetime on, with their entire career on, with humanity. And uh, when we see a sea of children in here in the morning, you realize that you're touching a lot of minds and they're gonna remember this.